Welcome to the new Sunshine Farm. It's been about 18 months since I posted my last video and a lot has changed. Really, everything's changed. About two years ago, we came out to California to visit my sister and her family. She was expecting her second child and we wanted to meet the new baby. It was November, so it was becoming cold in New York. We came out, we stayed for about a week out in Southern California with Malachi, who at the time was um, about one. And we were outside the whole time. We were playing at parks, we went to the aquarium, we were at the beach, we were outside and it was November. And when that trip ended, we came home to winter just beginning. And Chris and I had a really hard time with that. We just didn't want to come home. We wanted to stay hanging out in San Diego with my sister and her family and vacation. We didn't want the vacation to end. Um, and at that point, we kind of realized that we wanted to move. So last time I talked to you guys, I was talking by myself, Chris wasn't here, and it was like the first time we had even started talking about it. We maybe had brought it up like a couple days before. Yeah. It was like the first time we had even like talk about, talked about the subject, and it was like as soon as we started talking about it, we both realized that it kind of is what we both want. Mm -hmm. I think we were like, oh, that makes so much sense. Why haven't we thought about that sooner? About moving in general? I think we both realize like we're more free than we think. Why are we like limiting ourselves to staying here longer than we want to? Yeah, I think well, with any of these transitions, they always seem pretty impossible to figure out the like the minute details of. And so it's easier to just put them off into this... Like, arbitrary timeline or deadline and to not deal with them as trying to make them realistic or as realistic as quickly as possible. Do you see camera? Can you not say that. hi? I was trying to talk here, mister. Can you say hi to yourself? No. Do you want to move? Yeah. Yeah. Be 2022 could have a lot of adventure for us. So we're excited to just share what's next and bring you guys along the ride. So we had talked about moving. It was something we talked about every winter because uh, we both didn't like winter and it was about six months long in our New York climate. We had talked about saving, uh, saving money, paying off our house and then selling our house and taking the cash from our house to buy something debt free. That was like our big long-term goal, our 10, 15 year plan. But then the pandemic happened and our jobs became remote. The world really changed. The housing prices skyrocketed and suddenly our 10, 15 year plan didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to wait 10 to 15 years to find where we wanted to settle and spend our lives. And then we had our son and we really just wanted to find a place where we didn't ever picture leaving. at first it was like what about what if we moved to California in 10 years and then it was like what about two years what about what if it's our two-year goal and we got really excited about it when you think about moving it seems so overwhelming that it's like oh well let's not even talk about that it's too much like just, let's just stay just put an arbitrary timeline on it yeah like 10 years down the road we'll move because then at that point it's like I don't know like I, I don't know what we were thinking really about 10 years because in 10 years it's not gonna be any easier necessarily oh, to move because we could still have chickens you could still have farm animals still have horses like yeah it might even be harder like who knows yeah um and I think we realized okay like we were talking about moving to the Pacific Northwest to so like Washington and Oregon area because I've just always loved that climate loved that area but then we're both realizing 
well, my family's in California, his family's out here. We don't want to be in a state where we're not within a driving distance of either one of our families. Yes. We started looking at different places we could live in California. Um, at the time, we were thinking places that were central, northern, Sierra Nevadas, places that were more affordable than Southern California. Okay, what do they say? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, like that. And where we could have land, like five acres of land or two or more acres of land and have a similar lifestyle, be homesteading, be homesteaders. We knew we weren't going to have 12 acres. We knew that wasn't going to happen in California unless we picked a very remote area or a very, very affordable area. Some of our goals were going to be different. We weren't going to focus on having a lot of animals. We weren't going to focus on having horses or having big open pastures. We were going to focus more on the garden because that's what I'd fallen in love with. That's what has made a difference for our family. And that's where our hearts were kind of leading us. Just started talking. We started looking at Zillow, at places we could reasonably afford. And we started dreaming about finding new jobs that were fully remote that would allow us to pick up our lives and move whenever we were ready. As we started talking and dreaming, we just got more and more excited about the idea. It was of course winter in New York, so it was easy to be excited about the idea of being somewhere warmer. Um, I think most people who live in the Northeast, who live in the cold climate, probably dream about being somewhere warmer. Whether it's a vacation or move, it's hard. It's hard to be in a winter climate for six months out of the year. It's hard to not have sunlight um, and be in cloudy days every day. And in our climate, we really didn't get a lot of sun. We would go weeks without seeing the sun. And that caused a lot of just seasonal depression, seasonal grumpiness, seasonal feeling just not excited <laughs> to get up and enjoy the day. So how do we go from talking about moving in 10 years to picking up our lives, packing up our belongings, and moving to California nine months later. A big part of the reason why we decided to move out to California was because my entire family is out here. Um, my sister and her family, she is married with two kids, two young children four and two. My brother, he um, is out in Los Angeles area. My parents are in the Los Angeles area and all my aunts and uncles and cousins are out here. I grew up in Southern California. I lived here until I was 20 and this is my home state. we left California I would feel this like heavy weight of I don't want to leave I don't want to go home and then we'd get home and I'd be really depressed for a few days and then it's not like I would just like bounce back and be like okay I'm happy here and it's like every single time we went to California I would have the same experience and it kind of just hit me like why are we living in a place that we don't necessarily want to come home to so with my family being out here we had the conversation of, well, what if we moved in with my parents during the transition of moving our lives from New York to California? What if we moved in with my parents before we decided to sell our farm, just in case we changed our minds? <laughs> because as soon as the warm weather came around, as soon as the summer came, as soon as summer arrived, and I started planting in my garden again, and I planted the kitchen garden, and I started harvesting, and we watched the grass grow and the flowers bloom and felt the warm sun on our skin. It felt really hard to let go of our New York farm. I was so in love with the life we had created there. I was so attached to everything we'd done. I loved our animals. I loved our gardens. The idea of saying goodbye to it, the idea of someone else owning it and it not being ours anymore was really hard for me. And so we kind of were like, wait, pause maybe this isn't the best choice for us as we were about ready to list our house in the middle of july the housing crisis was kind of pausing house prices were dropping it was kind of a unpredictable time and we freaked out a little bit and said what if we don't sell our farm 
So, <laughs> then what? We wouldn't have any money to buy a new place unless we sold our property in New York. And we also didn't want another winter in New York. So we were in this place of, we were wondering like, what if we lived in California in the winter and New York in the summer? And we played around with that idea for a little bit. What if we lived in our Airstream trailer and traveled in this in the winter and then lived in our, at our New York farm in the summer? We talked about all kinds of different ideas. Thought about what that might look like with our remote jobs, with childcare, with one um, two-year-old. And no other kids at the time, but we knew we wanted more kids. We talked about all kinds of different ideas. And as the summer came to a close, we ultimately settled on spending the winter with my family in Southern California and, and deciding what we were gonna do with our farm during that time. We thought we would likely sell our farm the following spring after the winter in California once we decided whether we were going to move to California or if we would get cold feet and go back to our New York farm and ditch the whole idea altogether. And then crisis happened in our lives and I feel like at that point everything kind of got shaken up. Um, probably the hardest chapter of my life thus far came right about the time where we were going to move, pack up our life and move to my parents. It was a season I would never wish on anybody, but also a season that one day I think I will be grateful for. And we'll jump into that, that chapter of our journey in the next video. So I'll see you guys next time.